I've just driven past a man at the side of a main road, litter picking, dressed in a giant banana costume. I did not expect to see that today. <laughs> Hopefully you can all hear me all right. Uh, it's my first time using a lav mic. Uh, it's my first time recording myself in the van. And it's also only the second time I've recorded myself anyway. So I guess if you're hearing this, it's come out all right. Going down to Weymouth today to Radapole Lake, which is an RSPB reserve. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, to see some bearded tits today. I saw them last time I was there, but they were too far away and I didn't really get a great photo come back today and I'm going to spend a couple hours down in the hide and uh, sift there around. My favourite conditions are warm and sunny and dry. And at least we've got one of them because it's pretty sunny today. literally just got here, walked over the bridge into the reserve and then seven or eight bearded tits landed in the reeds just over there about 20 meters away. But by the time I got my camera out, changed the right settings, they'd all flown off. So that's wildlife tip number one for you. Make sure you've got the settings right on your camera as soon as you get out of your car because you never know what you're going to find. So I've seen the bearded tits fly over a few times. I can keep hearing them chirping as they go. I've heard some Chetty's warblers and some wrens as well, but nothing's really landed near me yet, so I can't take a photo. I'm gonna go up to the northmost hide where I've seen the bearded tits before. I'll be really excited if they're there today. A lot of rain last night. Uh, and in case you're wondering, no, I am not wearing waterproof shoes. But there is a kestrel flying around, which is pretty cool. I've seen a few of them recently, but not this close, so hopefully I can get some good photos of it. So I spent some time at the hide. Uh, I didn't see any bearded tits. Just heard a few Chetty's warblers and saw a kestrel. Uh, I'm going to go back to the main part of the reserve now and see if the bearded tits are hiding down there. So as you can tell, I didn't actually manage to see any bearded tits. 
apart from the ones that I saw in the car park right at the start of the trip. Fortunately, that's just how it is with wildlife photography sometimes, and also with landscapes. I can't tell you how many times I've been down to the coast at sunrise and then just been met with a blanket grey cloud that ruins it. But if it was great every time, wouldn't it be as fun, would it? I am really excited that I got to see the Kestrel though, so I'm going to grab a cup of coffee and then uh, I'm going to go for it on the computer and see what we've got. So I managed to get quite a few shots of the Kestrel as it flew around. It was uh, being mobbed by a magpie. The one I like the most is this one here. quite like the wing position and the cloud behind it. Uh, the detail in the wings is nice as well, so I'm going to go and edit that one, I think. It's not going to need a big edit because it's a bird on a blue sky on a sunny day. So I'm going to give it a bit of a crop just to make the bird bigger in the frame and to move it into a more pleasing place, maybe just inside the rule of thirds. That's my favourite. Maybe a bit more already. About there. Warm it up slightly. Uh, bring the blacks down. Add a bit of contrast to that. Maybe bring the highlights down as well so you can actually see the uh, detail on the wing. Add a bit of texture for some detail. Maybe a bit more vibrancy just to bring out the blue a bit more. The last thing I do typically is sharpen with a mask obviously because I don't want to sharpen any noise. So that I think is finished. So that's it for another video. Hope you've enjoyed it and if you have remember to hit that thumbs up and then hit the subscribe button as well and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Hopefully by then I'll have got a chair that's not quite as creaky because this is driving me nuts. Before you go I'd like to address the obvious joke that's waiting in the comments section for me. Uh, yes in fact I am the bearded tit so before anyone says it I already know. <laughs>